To win this battle, we all have to do our part. It's literally in our hands. At the state level, we've done a lot to make sure people are social distancing, including limiting the size of social gatherings to 10, dismissing schools, closing daycares, restaurants, bars, gyms, hair salons, and more, as well as many other measures to slow the spread. I know these will take a toll on many. So we're expanding unemployment benefits and helping small businesses with emergency loans. And I also know we're going to have to do a lot more before this is over. But we know government doesn't have all the ideas and solutions. They never have and never will. When you get right down to it, it's the ingenuity of Vermonters, the creative spirit, the energy, and work ethic of our people that we'll need now more than ever. Here's what I'm asking of businesses. If your company is still open, ask yourselves, what can I do to help? We know there are still important jobs that need to be done. It'll take creativity and flexibility, and we're seeing that across the state in our grocery stores and restaurants with curbside pickup, in our businesses making sure employees can work from home, and more. This is the time to tap into your creative spirit, which is in the DNA of every Vermonter. To everyone across the state, this is an opportunity for each of us to step up and join together, even as we must be physically apart. We can unite to help those in need but we need everyone to think outside the box and find creative ways to do that. Pick up a meal for a neighbor, provide books or other resources to young kids, or make a video reading to them. Send cards or messages to your local senior center or donate to a local charity. We need to take bold action to defeat this pandemic, but we also need small acts of kindness and goodwill as well. This will deepen our resolve, preserve our faith, and strengthen our connections to one another. We cannot allow physical separation to pull us apart. Instead, we need to use this moment in time to come together in other ways. So today, I'm asking for your help, and this is your mission. Help your fellow Vermonters in their time of need. I realize much of this is already happening, People are stepping up and pulling together. But just like government needs to do more, I need each of you to do more as well. That's how we're going to get through this and put Vermont in a position of strength when this is over. All the small initiatives with acts of kindness make a huge difference. The bottom line is we need each of you to find a way to help and contribute however you can to help pull us together to stand as Vermonters united I'm so very proud of this state, and I know we're going to get through this, not because of any one person or any one action, but because of each of you. So I thank you for doing your part.